Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? Talk about Shine. Shizuka, I do believe. Tell me about Shizuka Saito. Shizuka chan is a traditional Japanese beauty with stunning black hair. She's polite and has incredibly good manners. Something you don't see much in young people nowadays. Apparently, she's got a very interesting backstory, especially when it comes to how she came to work at a, host at a hostess club. She's 29, a Sagittarius, and a blood type Zoe. She loves desserts but hates spicy food. <laughs> Sit down with Shizuka chan for a few minutes and watch as her unique aura soothes away all your troubles. Uh huh. This will be Kiryu's last hostess for now. It'll finish off the sub story, but then he does have two more hostesses after that that we're going to. Hi. Sort out during the finale because my schedule. I'm very autistic about it. <laughs> it's gotta be just right. I printed it out. It needs to be exactly how it is, man. So, anyway, final hostess for. Um. A week. Then we got two more, <laughs> baby! <laughs> but there we go. No preference, good sir. Oh, hi. Hello, Leo. You know, I took a break from recording, not not out of choice, because I had to. And coming back to hostess stuff is just, oh, okay. Alright then, <laughs> has to be done. My name is Rio, nice to meet you. Likewise. How old are you, Kiryu-san? I'm 41, I'll be 42 this year. Alright, his birthday hasn't passed yet, has it? No. When's his birthday? June? Or July? One of them. Yeah. Oh, really? Older men like you are pretty interesting. I bet you've been through a lot in your life. That's probably true of anybody my age. True. I tend to find many people who put up a brave front are actually hiding painful past experiences. Oh, yes, baby. Trauma galore. <laughs> when I catch a glimpse of that, I just suddenly feel even more attached to that person. Sook. Sook. Shimeko. Hello! <laughs> Hello. Do you play table tennis at all? Table tennis? Well, I sometimes play when I go to the hot springs. Oh, I love the hot springs. Table tennis is a lot more fun when you're wearing a yukata. Look at her, she's talking to you. I play quite a lot. You could almost say I'm a bit addicted. Oh yeah? I'm surprised to hear that you play table tennis as a hobby. Don't girls normally play regular tennis? <laughs> Maybe. But I think table tennis is way more fun. What, how every time you lose your boobs start to hang out more? Or is that just <laughs> video game logic? <laughs> video game logic, but we'll pretend it's real. <laughs> so <then that. laughs> Looks like I've been requested. <laughs> fun, okay? Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. You said your name was Himaka. I'm Kiryu. Kiryu Kazamada. Yoroshiku. Uh -huh. Hello, Kiryu san, nice to meet you too. Are you from Kansai by any chance? I am. How do you feel about girls with Kansai and accents, Kiryu san? I fell for a girl from Kansai. Oh. 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 Okay. Really? Cool, you can talk to your old about your old girlfriends like that. That's a sign of maturity. Seem that like serious type, not like the men from Osaka. Yeah. That can't be entirely true. Sure, many comedians are from Osaka, but there must be some serious men there as well. Mm, probably. I'm not much into that type of man, so. Ah. You like a man with a sense of humor? I know one of those. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah, I suppose. They're the most fun to talk to. <laughs> Here she is. Hello. Hello there. 
Stella there. Bye-bye. Again with the tiny glass in his big old... <laughs> Hello. Hello. Kiryu, cousin. Hello, Kiryu-san. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> You're certainly well-mannered and proper. Kiryu-san. Do you prefer girls who are more casual, Kiryu-san? Making her posh, because of course. Here. No, not exactly. It's just rare to see a girl with her natural hair colour in a place like this. You've made me curious. Is it that it's meant to be natural? But it's brown. And I always think, oh, Japanese have black hair, but I guess some do have naturally brown hair, but then it might be meant to look black, because Kiryu's hair looks a bit brown right now, and it's meant to be black, so I don't know. This game's engine is confusing me. I don't get it. Uh, that's true. Now that you mention it, you're the only one here with black hair, she's a kuschan. That is not black hair, I'm confused. That's like the colour of my hair, and my hair's just a very dark brown. So... Yes, you're right. Maybe I do stand out a bit. I'm not quite used to working here, I'm afraid. You'll have to forgive me if I don't meet your expectations. Oh, I don't know what to put. Kiryu's first girly had brown hair. Kaoru had black hair. Her brother had blonde hair. <laughs> Kiryu now has grey hair. I saw a thing of him in Yakuza 8 where he had blonde hair and it looked fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> Who thought giving him yellow, like, piss-coloured hair would be a good idea? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, um... Let's do the Kiryu answer. Just be yourself and you'll be fine. You won't get nervous if you don't think of this as a job. Mm. Won't that be rude to my customers? Yeah. Men like women who... Uh, men like women to be comfortable around them and not treat them like perfect strangers. Really? I didn't know that. I don't know if I can pull that off. The whole point is to not worry about whether you're doing it right or wrong. Just act natural. Don't overthink it. I understand. Thank you for the advice. Mm. I like your stubble, Kiryu's- What stubble? He has a little, like, that little beard thingy. I don't even know what you would call it. It's his little beard thingy. <laughs> That's it. He's quite clean shaven. You like guys with stubble? <laughs> I know a guy! <laughs> I know too. Yes, but if I were being truthful, I'd love to see you with a beard. Oh, and glasses. Yes! Oh, yes! The magic combo, boys! <laughs> I know he looks good in glasses, and I think he would actually look really good with, a, with some facial. Like... A beard? Yes, I agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> He'd look great. <laughs> you like men with beards, Shizuka Chan? Wow, I had no idea. Unfortunately, I don't need to put on glasses. I've got pretty good vision. Oh, well, I put on glasses when I do things such as reading. I put on glasses so I can see. <laughs> Otherwise, I would, everything would just be a blur. Born with it. I can only imagine how it'll be when I'm my mum's age. And my mum's just have had to... Well, both my parents, actually, have just, in the last few years, needed to start wearing glasses to read. Uh, and, uh... Maybe it's just a pet peeve of mine, as someone who wears glasses and they cost a lot of money because of the prescription and everything. It does irk me when people just buy the prescription. Not because... I think it's good that they're able to just buy a prescription that works or out of the out of the store or whatever just out shopping that's nice and convenient but I don't know the people around me who don't wear glasses all the time because they don't need to they tend to be really disrespectful to their specs if you know what I mean so for me 
I have to be really careful, because if they get scratched up, that's very distracting, because I have to wear them all the time. And then I have to pay hundreds of pounds to get a new pair. Right? And then I get, like, my mum, my dad, even my, my aunt, and, and all that. And they just are not respect my dad's glasses that currently don't have one leg. There's just one leg missing. And he puts them on and looks stupid. <laughs> My mum just has hundreds of pairs that she just dots around the house and then loses because inevitably she's not paying attention to where she put them. Or she sits on them and they fall down the sides of the, the sofa cushions, right? Yeah. <laughs> just like, I keep telling her I'm going to get her one of those strings that grandmas wear so they don't lose their glasses. She's, it's funny, I've seen her do the thing where, you know, you put your glasses on your head and she forgets they're there. I've only seen that in cartoons, but thanks to her, I have real-life examples. <laughs> God. But yeah, that's just me, I suppose. But then I suppose it also makes sense that when you've not never needed something before, it, you're more likely to disregard it when you need it. I don't know. I just hope that... Look after your stuff, then you don't have to keep replacing it. Because let me tell you, replacing glasses is the worst because of how expensive they can be. <sighs> Maybe I'm just that blind that they're that bad that they're that expensive. <laughs> anyway. Do you read a lot, Kiddy Sam? <clears throat> I mean. I can imagine him reading manga when he was younger. He has talked about manga with... I remember a conversation in Kiwami 2, right? With the girls from Forshine. At least one of them. That was writing a manga, right? He talked about liking gag manga or something. So, I can imagine him liking that kind of thing. I can't imagine him having much time for it now that he's running an orphanage, though, that's all. But, you know... Maybe he does, you know, maybe. Maybe he just picks up the manga that his, his kids read and just browses it while they're at school or something, I don't know. Hmm, I'm gonna put manga then. I read manga, but I don't buy them myself. Ah, <laughs> see? Oh, really? I had no idea you read those kinds of books. I'm a bit surprised. Something wrong with that? No, no. I think it makes sense. A lot of men you raise still read them. Just read the seinen, bro. <laughs> and then it's like, well, it's, it's in the category that better fits me, even though I'm not a young man anymore, but I'm a man. I still read shonen. I read a lot of shonen. I like seinen more, but I do very much enjoy shonen as well. So, yeah. You know, both are good. <laughs> yeah. When we were kids, the grown-ups used to get upset if they saw us reading manga. I agree. Lately, some of them even have well-written stories. Manga isn't just for kids anymore. True. I guess that's true. So do you read shoujo manga too? I don't see him reading shoujo. Yeah. No, a man's got to know his limits. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That is fucking polite. <sighs> Yo. What you Yeah. We have no choice. It's for the sub story, man. It's for the sub story. We've got to do it. We've got to do it. Arigato <laughs> gozaimasu. Arigato na. Beep 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 beep. Oh fuck. She's here. Thank you very much for visiting today. I'm sorry I got so silly. We'd only just met after all. Silly? You? Alright. Uh, I'd love to see you again if you get the chance. That's all for today. Goodbye! Ah. So, this, ne? 
Thank you for requesting me. My name is Shizuka. It's a pleasure. Yoroshiku onegai itashimasu. Onegai itashimasu. That's it. Apparently, you don't get anything. I'm not going to drink anything? No, it costs money, and it costs animation time and waiting to get this over with. Goodness. Apparently, it's vegetable sticks. Mmm. She loves that. She's the most prim and proper one, but she's also the one with probably the biggest cleavage. You know what I mean? Like, the most boobage is out of her, probably. <laughs> is that bad to say? I ate some fish today! Bravo, woman! <laughs> Asian woman ate fish, oh my god! <laughs> Unheard of! I was able to eat it neatly without making a mess! <gasps> She didn't make a mess! Sorry. Fish. <laughs> I hurt my throat doing that. Whenever I'm able to do that, it really makes me feel like things are going my way. <laughs> like I can take on the world. So did things go your way? Yes. I got to see you, sir. So. <laughs> Why is that a good thing? I know we only met for the first time the other day, but I feel like I've known you for a long time. I was hoping you'd come back. Oh, what a white butt. Never heard of what you're telling the fish. So. <laughs> That's a little unusual, don't you think? <laughs> well, don't you feel good when you eat fish like that? I guess if you're always trying to eat your fish neatly, things will go your way every day. So you're right. Besides, you're eating something that was once alive. It's only respectful to try and eat it neatly every time <laughs> equivalent exchange <laughs> yeah you have a point maybe i'll give it a try myself sure you don't just put the whole thing in your <sighs> i see him doing that <laughs> just picking it up by the tail and <laughs> then like a cartoon cat please tell me if something good happen does happen to you maybe i've made her too uh -huh. posh oh uh no -huh. May I ask you what kind of work you do, sir? Ah. Sure. I run an orphanage in Okinawa. I live with a group of kids who've lost their parents. That's wonderful! They've lost their parents, eh? That's not the wonderful part, I assure you. But it does sound like it's a difficult line of work. <laughs> and what about you? Do you do anything besides this? Yes, I have another job during the day. Have you heard of embalming? Yeah. Embalming? What sort of job is that, exactly? It's a process where you make someone who died from an accident or sickness appear as they were before they died. In other words, embalmers help family members say their final farewells to the deceased. <sighs> Bringing back bad memories of earlier this year. My nan died. Right. All the smoking, heavy smoking she did earlier in life caught up to her, I suppose. That was apparently the cause of death. CO2 something or other, right? And there was a viewing to see her, you know, after they'd done their thing. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. That's actually making me upset thinking about it, sorry. Everyone else did it. I, I couldn't do it, though. No, I couldn't do it. I think one of my uncles couldn't either, so... You know. Mm. I think maybe my one of my aunts couldn't either, so... Yeah. That was a rough time. <laughs> anyway, sorry. So that's your day job. <coughs> yes. Well, I don't have my license yet, so I'm not officially an embalmer. Mm. Respectable job. It's an odd one for Japan. But it's a respectable job. I think that's a respectable job. It's not one that just anyone can do. 
Thank you for saying that. Embalming isn't very well known in Japan. Some people aren't very comfortable with the idea of altering someone's body after death. Hmm. So. I see. So I'm happy that you understand, sir. I hope to get my license soon, so I can start work as a real embalmer. I hope I can work on you after you've passed Kiryu-san. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, good luck. <laughs> it must be tough working two jobs. How are you holding up? It certainly is. But my mother does help me out, and I don't work days and evenings every day. But that doesn't change that it's a tough job, right? You know, embalmers only get to meet the deceased client after they've received an embalming request from the family. I suppose that same is true with people who work in funeral homes. But I've always thought that it's an unusual profession. Mm, I'm sure you don't know most of the clients when they're alive. Many things go through my mind when I first see our clients. I wonder about the lives they led and their thoughts. My mind is full of thoughts like that as I do my work. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do that kind of thing. No, 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 no. I'm too, I'm too emotional for that. <sighs> Apparently it's this. I'm sure the deceased would appreciate that. Yes, I'd like to think the deceased would be happy with the service we provide. I'm sure they do. But depending on the condition of the body, we aren't always able to make them appear as they did in life. Even so, I'm sure they'd appreciate how hard you work to make them look better. If you were just going through the motions without caring about your work, I'm sure the deceased wouldn't... I'm sure the deceased wouldn't be happy even if the results were good. <laughs> when you say it like that, I feel a little better, sir. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Really? Oh. Hmm. I thought I would get a... Okay, then. Got some work to do. <laughs> ah. I'll get it with the text. It's only usually about two squares of a heart, though. Beep, 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 beep. Hello, Shizuka here. I'd like to thank you for requesting me earlier today. I'm sure you're busy. your work must keep you very busy, so I'll do my best to help s uh, help ease some of your stress. I'm still a beginner, but I hope you'll be patient with me. <sighs> your job must be difficult too. I feel like a friggin' robot just looking at the walk through all the time. But can you blame me? <laughs> After Yakuza Three, man, I'm just ah oh, ah, you know. I can't do it. I need to speed up the process as much as possible. Mm. Thank you for answering my email. I'm glad you took the time to do that for me. It was just one square. No problem. There we go. Back at it. Um, can I ask you something? Depends. Are you married, sir? Do you see a ring on this big meaty finger? No. Yeah. I'm single. Dokushinda. Are you? Oh, are you seeing anyone? <laughs> Why do you ask? Oh, it's nothing. It's just... Hi. Well, I was just curious. So. How about you? Do you have a boyfriend? I haven't been blessed with a gentleman who would accept someone like me. <sniffs> Bitch, please. Boy, oh. That's a little hard to believe. No, it's true. Well, what's your type of man? Well, I prefer a man who is able to take on a man's responsibilities. So a man? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> women these days are so independent. Men sometimes treat women just like they treat other men. But I think both a man and a woman have their roles in a relationship. If they can't help each other in their respective ways and share their lives. <laughs> I hope to find someone like that. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't hear many women say that these days. Do you think it's strange? Yeah. No. There's nothing wrong with that. Hmm, nothing wrong. <laughs> I'm glad. 
Lots of people think I'm strange. Yeah. No, There's nothing wrong with that at all. What? If, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Isn't that the saying? I mean, if it works, what's wrong with it? If it doesn't work for you, that's fine. Just don't do it. But if it works for other people, then that's fine. Let them do it, you know? It's rare these days for young women to say things like this, so I was worried about what you might think. My dog is barking. Ash, ladies and gentlemen. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sword in there. I like people who have their own ideals without being influenced by what they see on TV or read in magazines. Mm. <laughs> I get the impression that you're a man with your own set of ideals too, sir. I think that's really admirable. <laughs> Business was a bit slow earlier, so the girls and I got to talking. Everybody brought up different ways to attract a man. It was really interesting. Like what? Uh, one girl said she would always wipe the table after eating. And another said she'd get really excited and act cute when she saw her puppy. I mean, yeah. Another girl said she'd join arms with a man and press her chest up against him or compliment him. Men do like boobs. That's true. Boobs uh, tend to work pretty well, I think. I imagine. Boobs. Boobs. Sounds like pretty normal stuff. The one girl said she would purposely trip in front of the man. I thought that was funny. <laughs> I guess women all have all sorts of tricks up their sleeve. What about you? Me? Well, my style is a little different. I tend to pursue interest or... Uh, inst I tend to pursue instead of attract. Yeah. Pursue? She's running after those men. <laughs> She's going for it. Hi. Yes. For example, I would offer to wash a man's back. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so Japanese. <laughs> Can I wash your back, sir? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> and what do they say? Yeah. Well, they didn't seem to like it. Actually, I think I scared them off. So why do you feel you want to wash men's backs? To tell you the truth, I'm not so sure myself. But I might have been influenced by something I saw on TV. Bro, I was... Kitty was just complimenting you on how you don't seem to be influenced by TV. <laughs> My intent is only to help them to relax and forget their troubles. I think a massage would probably be more... In that realm rather than the back like you wash their backs later on right after uh you know them a bit better right as you then well ma massage seems more like shoulder massage or they do hand massages right i saw that parodied in kaguya sama once it was very funny <laughs> and of course there's uh, the scenes in uh uh, Majima Saika Kiwami too, right? The feet. <laughs> Don't do the feet. <laughs> well, that's a nice thought, anyway. Really? Sure. I'm glad you understand my point of view. But offering to wash someone's back might be going a bit too far. How about just a back rub? See? Yes, that's true. Maybe I'll try that next time. Sometimes I wonder, why does a wonderful person like you want to spend time with someone like me? I ask that every day, baby. <laughs> why would anybody want to be around me? Uh, I don't know. Oy, oy. What are you talking about? I'm just not very attractive as a woman. Bitch, please? <laughs> yeah. Not at all. I think you're plenty attractive. <laughs> really? What part of me do you think is attractive? So well, <laughs> don't look at the boobs. Hair or eyes? Understood. I do actually like her eyes, so that checks out. She's got strong eyes. Beautiful eyes. They really show how strong you are as a woman. Really? That's the first time anyone's ever complimented me on my eyes. I really like how you're not afraid to look me in the eye when we're talking to. Oh. Really? I'm starting to feel a little more confident now. Hmm. Soro, soro, oji kan desu? No? 
Do you go to karaoke, sir? Uh, Sometimes. What kind of songs do you like to sing? <laughs> well, I guess I usually choose Enka, the traditional Japanese ballads. <laughs> yeah. I sing those a lot too. Maybe some old classics. Don't you sing any pop songs? Everybody asks me that question. I think I'm giving people the wrong impression of me. They say that I'm lying about my age. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, I think it's just because I only sing songs that older people like, never pop songs. Uh, don't ask her her age, man. Sounds like we have similar tastes. I don't mind if you only sing ballads and other and the classics. Really? I love to go to karaoke with someone like that. I could relax then. Uh, relax? Do you normally stress out when you go to karaoke? Hi. Yes. I always get nervous when I go with people close to my age or younger. I would do, I think. Well, when we go together, you can f you can feel free to sing whatever you like. <laughs> that sounds nice. Yosha. Uh, no. Excuse me, sir. Have you heard anything interesting recently? Oh god. She's only got one gossip, apparently. I'm a little out of touch with what's going on these days. Maybe you can help. Sponsor, 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 sponsor. That's good because I didn't get many new ones. Sponsor, 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 sponsor. Sponsor, sponsor. No, I'm afraid not. What is it? Online community. Create avatar. Sponsor, sponsor, sponsor. I'm, I'm still assuming it's a sponsor. Sponsor, sponsor, sponsor. You can also play games and chat. Uh, I'm not much of an expert on those things, so why don't we try it together? Let's try it together. Yippee, this is sponsor, sponsor. Yeah, sure. Why not? Take all my money. I didn't need to do that, but I felt like being nice. Yes. First day, yeah? Yeah? My brain is turning to mush with all these hostesses, man. I don't know how I managed with... Back-to-back -back hostesses in three and I edited them into massive fucking videos. I just don't know. Now I'm not doing that just for my own sanity, but I'm not looking forward to editing this. Not! There's just so much sitting and talking and not really much else going on. It's as you know. Ah, carrying on. Thank you for all your help. Hello, she's here. Something nice just happened. Why is that top bit? Th Whatever. I was walking aimlessly down the street when a man running this way and I bumped into each other. When I helped him gather the things he had dropped, he said, I'm so sorry. Thank you very much. A small thing, yes, but a man who shows such consideration is splendid indeed. Teach my kids the same thing. Because he's a good boy. Okay, day to Please. Please? Yes! Something to do! Hello? This is Shizuka from Shine. No, oh, hey. How's it going? I was wondering if you wanted to go out with me. Sometime today, if you can. Sure, sounds good. Great. I'll meet you in front of the lockers on Taihei Boulevard. In front of the lockers? Got it. The lockers? Ah, shit. See, here I thought I wouldn't be able to do Shizuka because originally I put Shizuka as the first hostess to do. I don't know why. I always go with Jewel and then Shine, but at least in this one, but whatever. I thought, oh, I wouldn't be able to meet her because she'd meet up in front of the Millennium Tower. But if I had known that I'd meet her in front of the lockers, I would have kept my schedule. I wouldn't have had to re- Fucking print it out and change everything. Although that was only one change, but still, I, I did Maya first instead. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this shit. Goodness. Oh well, it's being done now. It's fine. Cause yeah, they usually meet them here, but I guess they they thought of that when they. So that's nice. That's nice indeed. Look, there she is. God damn. Hello, love. Sorry to make you wait. It's not your fault. I was so excited that I arrived a little early. I see. Um, could I ask you something, Kiryu-san? Hmm? Sure, go ahead. May I call you sir? You have already been calling me sir, madam. Sir? That's a bit too formal, isn't it? You don't like it? 
Well, you can call me whatever you like. Really? I'm glad to hear you say that. You can be a bit strange sometimes. So... And then... I guess we haven't done that in a while, so I guess we could do that. Oh. Although, as much as I enjoy doing the table tennis mini game, it is quite addictive. It's a bitch to edit, because obviously it takes a while, so I want to shorten it up to. Shall we be off then? We're off to see the karaoke booth. That was shit. Oh, I can't wait to go karaoke with you. This is going to be so much fun. Let's get singing then. Ba da ba. Ba da ba. Ba da ba da ba. What are we going to sing, my dear? <laughs> I can't wait to go karaoke with you. Oh, now, what should I sing? How about a raindrop? <laughs> okay. Raindrop. I just realized I have to clean my glasses. Ah, God. After, after. quiet. <laughs> His voice is so deep you just can hardly hear him over the music. <laughs> or maybe it's because I don't have both headphones on, I don't know. He was a pretty fucking quiet though. Oh, my highest score yet. It's because I was focusing. Sorry, I'm cleaning my glasses. Hold on. Dang. Worst thing about glasses, they always say, use the glasses wipe, because if you don't, they will get scratched up to shit. And I have experienced that, so yes, I've been trying to use- But it's smudgy as heck, man! It's so smudgy, and I'm waiting for it to scratch anyway. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm expecting it. Expecting to spend more bloody money on my bloody glasses again. <laughs> anyway. That one bad and that one good. Bin. I am number one. That was wonderful. You certainly know how to make a girl feel like a diva. Would you do me the honor of singing a song? I know. Will you sing a duet with me? Yes! 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 Why not? Thank you! I can't wait to hear you sing. 
dun, 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 dun. This song so fucking good. They need to do more duets, you know? They just, they need to do more. They're so good. I want more. I can't believe I missed two. I got them in the wrong order. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> the dreaded 9 AD again. It has to be expected from me, I think. Ah, and there was one good as well. Dang. Oh well. Meh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are they all what? Oh, I guess they've been pushed down. Never mind. Machine gun kiss? Oh shit, I haven't done that yet. Oh. Oh. I was so enchanted by your voice, I almost forgot to sing. Kiryu has a very particular little <laughs> noise when he when he's about to laugh. <laughs> a little sigh with his laugh, you know. I like doing that. <laughs> it's very him, isn't it? Yes. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, that felt really nice. You're a great singer. I heard you cheering me on, sir. What a wonderful time. Oh yeah? May I ask you to take me out again sometime? Definitely. Then until we meet again. <gasps> we'll meet again, I know where, I know when. Adieu! I had a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go on another date sometime. I got your email. Sounds like you're doing a great job teaching your children to look up, uh, you look after. I really respect that. <laughs> it's nothing. I'm just doing what anyone would do. Hey. If you'll allow me to ask, what did you think of the practice? What do you think of the practice of embalming? Hmm? That's a strange question to ask all of a sudden. There was an article about it in the newspaper this morning. It said altering a corpse was sacrilegious and deeply immoral. Well, what do you think? I think that it can help the family cope with the loss of a loved one if they can actually see them during the funeral. What do you mean? Well, if the deceased was badly injured, the family might not be able to say goodbye. That can make it hard on them. Embalming can help a little with that. It can help loved ones accept death and move on. It's too bad that most people in Japan don't seem to understand the value of embalming. <sighs> 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 
Apparently so. I'm sure people will understand someday. Nobody would talk about sacrilege if they knew how much you cared about your work. You really think so? There's always resistance to new things in any generation. You just have to show them how committed you are. It'll catch on eventually. <laughs> I think you're right. I've got to strive to do my best. It seems like you're always able to cheer me up when we talk. <laughs> Miss, if it helps cheer you up, then it's my pleasure. <laughs> really does help. <laughs> really? You know, I think not. You know, at least it's a healthy snack, I suppose. Unlike my snacks. <laughs> You know, you've got the most amazing eyes. They are beautiful eyes. Like I heard from my brother before. Nanda. Well, that was sudden. Mm. I can't really explain it, but I can tell from your eyes that you've seen so much. So strong but gentle at the same time. It makes me think you, that you've had to overcome a lot of sorrow in your life. That hit deep. <laughs> Whenever I talk with you, I feel... Comforted. But when I'm by myself, I feel like I still have so much to learn. It's depressing. I wish I was more like you. I'm thinking it's that. Let's see. Oh, it's this. Dang, I was wrong! Really? Yeah. You can't ask for the impossible. We're two different people. You shouldn't try to be like me. I suppose you're right. But when I'm talking with you, I feel like I've become almost as amazing as you are. Of course I know it's not real. I'm still the same girl when I'm by myself. Oy, oy. What are you saying? You have a unique charm that no one else can replicate, Shizuka. I'm the one who should be jealous of you. <laughs> really? What sort of unique charm do I have? <laughs> well, you're modest and polite, for one. That's not something you see so often these days. A talent that nobody else has is a very powerful thing. You should try and make the most of it. <laughs> I see. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should be happy with who I am. Uh. You got it. <laughs> Thank you. I never thought about it that way. <laughs> no problem. Hello. Have you thought about giving traditional Japanese dancing a try? Now that's a question. Yeah. Men can do that? Yeah. Of course. Well, women totally outnumber men, but there are good male dancers too. So. I didn't know that. Although I'm not sure dancing is really my style. Oi! You forgot the 80s, boy! <laughs> dancing is good for you. You just have to get up and move your body. Just like... Just look how full of energy I am! Now that you mention it. Oh, I have to look at her? Her mouth? Is that really her? You always speak so politely. Is that because of your dance training? Yes, exactly. When learning traditional Japanese dance, you can't use slang or be too informal. Using proper language is part of my training. That explains it. My kids talk back to me a lot. Maybe I should have them study Japanese dance too. <laughs> what a wonderful idea. I'm sure they'll learn their manners that way. Do you remember me telling you that I felt like I've known you for a long time? Uh. I remember you saying something like that. Well, I finally figured out why. You're a lot like someone I used to know. Dun 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 Okay. Oh, really? Yes, but he passed away. So. He must have been very important to you. Hi. Yes, but I never got to say goodbye to him. So it's hard to accept that he's really gone. Sometimes I think he's still out there. I guess that's why I got interested in embalming. But why are you telling me this? At first, I didn't feel there was a need to tell you, but I started thinking recently that it wouldn't be good to hide things from you now. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. Whew. Everyone has secrets. Yeah. Everyone has secrets. It's nothing to be ashamed of. You're too kind, sir. Sir. But I do think it's better to be in a relationship when you feel comfortable enough to tell each other your secrets. So if you ever, if you're ever in any kind of trouble, just let me know. I'll be there for you. Oh. Really? Uh. <laughs> I feel so much better. You're even nicer than I thought. I feel silly for worrying about it. Hmm. 
it is. Second date time. That grammar point always confuses me. Like, nandesu can be used as a confirmation or it can be asked. It can be used in, as a point of exclamation. I think it can. Yeah, I'm sure I've seen it done like that before. <sighs> okay. Greetings, Shizuka here. I have more time to play with my cat these days. By play, I really mean doing nothing much apart from maybe snapping a few photos of her. I think it would be nice to spend that kind of laid back time with you someday too. Just snapping pictures of him? Heck yeah. Okinawa. It's nice and laid back. Day done, guys. She moves. This is Shizuka. Are you free right now? Sure. What's up? You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but would you be interested in hanging out with me sometime today? Sure. Sounds good. I'll be in front of the lockers on Taihei Boulevard. Does that work for you? In front of the lockers on Taihei Boulevard. Got it. Great, I'll be waiting. Okay. Whee! You're quite early, sir. I have to admit, I'm starting to get used to that. <laughs> Alright then, should we go get a bite somewhere? About that. There's somewhere I want to go. Oh? Where? Just over there. Do you mind accompanying me? Sure, let's go. Where are we going? Doko ikimasu ka? Oh, here? Okay. How romantic. What's up? Is this where you wanted to go? Actually, I made you a bento box. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, really? I want to have you eat it today, sir. A homemade lunch. Sounds great. Really? I'm glad to hear that. I'll get everything ready then. Ha! Wow. I didn't expect multiple boxes. <laughs> it was stacked as tall as him, you know. <laughs> Did I make too much for you? Not at all. It was delicious. Thanks. That's nice of you to say. I'm glad you enjoyed it, sir. Eating a box lunch outside like this reminds me of visiting my kids at a school festival. That sounds cute as balls! <sighs> ah! Yeah, you gotta think about all the, like, the school festivals you'd have to go to, because... Well, let's see, they probably all go to one school, but different... Well, actually, no, because there's... Shogako... And, um... Chugako... Is it Chugako? Chugaku. Koko. They'd all be in one of the three. So different schools, yes. Yeah, so three different... Three different festivals a year, possibly? <laughs> I Actually, no, I don't think any of them are at the age, because Haruka's the oldest, right? She's about 14. So none of them in high school yet. Yeah, okay, never mind. Two sets of school festivals? Heh <laughs> Really? How many children do you have at your orphanage? Four boys and five girls. One of them is a, in junior high already. Oh my. Sounds like quite the family. Yeah, okay, so... Haruka's in junior high, or... Chugaku. Chugaku. Is that, am I getting that right? I'm forgetting, I, I... And the others are in elementary. That makes sense. Alright, how about we go somewhere else? Alright. What should we do? We should hang out, of course. Yeah, I don't want to do pool, I don't want to do bowling, let's... Let's do the more intensive one. That sounds wonderful! It's still a bit chilly this time of year. Warming up at the hot spring would be perfect. Shall I be off then? Yep. Boobies, 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 what? First a nice hot soak, then some table tennis. How's that sound? Sounds great. 
Ready for the old man comment again? <laughs> again? Again. <sighs> He's naked! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Hey, how's the water over there? Oh, he's polygonal too. Look at that shoulder. Hey, Susika, feeling pretty good over here. <sighs> that was a great bath. Yeah, it's so strange that there's a hot spring bubbling up under this big entertainment district. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Don't you think so too? When I started thinking about it, I got real interested in learning about hot springs. So I went to the library to do some research, and I just couldn't stop. It was so fascinating. You're pretty enthusiastic about things, huh, Shizuka? Perhaps. Oh yeah, so when I was doing research I found out about a law called the Hot Spring Law. Have you heard of it? Nope, can't say I have. I don't think many people are familiar with it, but it had such a cool ring to it. I couldn't help but feel intrigued. According to the Hot Spring Law, there are a number of requirements that must be met for a spring to be called a hot spring. They've had a lot of places making false claims lately, huh? They need those regulations to protect the legitimate places. Alright, here's a question for you about one of those requirements. What the f- This is different. For something to be called a hot spring, the, the water has to be above what's temperature? I would assume 40 degrees. Right? Well, it's a hot spring, so I guess it would- have to be at least 40 degrees or hotter at the source, right? I thought so too, but it's actually 25 degrees Celsius. That's all it needs to be called a hot spring. Really? Interesting. Uh, 25 degrees isn't that much hotter than plain tap water. True. That's why springs with a colder source have, a, have to heat up the water for their customers. And they still call those hot springs? That's pretty interesting. <laughs> I'm glad you're so into this. If I learn anything new, I'll be sure to tell you. <laughs> that was a wholesome dialogue. It was nerdy, but it was good. Hot springs are great. Feels like all the exhaustion is melting off my body. Just seeing his hands go from the arms folded to the position where that would not be comfortable with the way he's sitting. <laughs> he's probably just stood. It's probably just his shirtless model plopped in the water. <laughs> he's just stood. Actually, yes, I can see... His belt. I can see the. I can see his belt. <laughs> oh god. Why? Why make a? Why make a naked model? Right. Disappointing. When you say things like that, you sound a bit like an old man. Why get my granddaughter to wash my back? What the fuck? That's different. I want. Him, I'm gonna get him to say that just because. Yeah. I want my grandchildren to wash my back for me. <laughs> I know you'd like a grandchild to do it for you, but if you'd like, I would gladly wash your back for you. Whoa, hold on. I'm just kidding. I've learnt recently that there's a proper sequence to follow when it comes to courting gentlemen. I wouldn't dare skip ahead. Oh. <laughs> Actually disappointed. Chizuka washing my back. Now time to daydream. Body man must daydream. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, you're back now? Sure. <laughs> Why don't they translate the what they're saying there? She's not saying anything weird. It's just mildly suggestive. Like, I'll wash your back now. Oh, do you want to wash my back? <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know why they don't. Are you listening to me? Uh, yeah, I'm listening. <clears throat> not thinking about your boobs, no. Very well, then. I'm going to get out of the bath now. Okay. I guess I'll get out too. I can't disappoint. <laughs> <clears throat> Nothing like a nice refreshing bath. And after a good bath, you've got to play table tennis. Okay. But I won't hold back or I won't hold anything back, but da da da. 
I wish it would be that when we'd lose, they'd lose more layers. So we'd get some man boobies. Some... For me! <laughs> Kidding. Uh, give it your all, girly. Let's do it. Can I remember what I'm doing? Okay. Oh, you remember what I'm doing? Oh, I love his enthusiasm. Yosh! Yosh! He feels more heat out of the bath than in. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, dang! Shit! <laughs> Ooh, yada. Oh, man. Damn it. I'm doing so bad now. Shit. Damn it. Fucking hell. I'm doing so bad. I really need to do the moves now, really. Fuck it. I'm doing it. Oh, fuck. There we go. I did bad there. I... And again! I'm not in it today! I need food! My best was 64, okay? Alright then. There, there, lovey. Oh, I have to. Okay. Woo! My head is not in it right now. That took a long time. You're so good at this. Were you in table tennis club? I've had some practice. Okay, should we get going? Sure. Hi, someone is new. 
Mm. One more date, then we finish out story. Then we finish the sub story. And then plot. That was impressive, sir. I see you're excellent at table tennis, too. Oh, <laughs> here on my microphone. Thanks. It was a lot of fun, even if I did lose. Well, should we head back to the club now? Sounds good. Yes. I need food. <laughs> Thanks for taking me out today. Now then, I think it's my turn to entertain you, sir. It was nice going out with you today, sir. Okay, now it sounds like a lot of fun. I'd like to try relaxing on the beach there sometime. You should come visit us if you get the chance. Excuse me, sir. Have you heard anything interesting recently? Not that I know of anything that will interest you. The foot baths? So heard about the foot baths at the hot springs? You don't take off your clothes so men and women can go in together. Really? Perhaps we should go together sometime. But you may not have to need to go. Why do you say that? <laughs> your skin is already so sleek and beautiful, the hot springs might not have any effect. Oh boy, that wasn't even on the walkthrough and it worked! You lady killer kid, you! You're going to make me blush saying that. Hell yeah. Really fine, it's the last day, why not? We haven't even got to the main conversation point yet, but okay. I... I must apologize for the bento. Why are you sorry? It was delicious. Now, I never should have made you eat it at the... at a place like that. I don't know what I was thinking. What are you talking about? Uh, but I was on a date with you, so I ended up just being so selfish. Bentos are nice once in a while. It was a lot more fun than eating at a restaurant. Really? Sure. And I can see that you put your heart into making that lunch. I was touched that you would put so much effort into making something for me. <laughs> and I was glad to have you eat it. I guess it wasn't such a bad idea after all. I'd love to have one again sometime if you don't mind making it for me. Hi. Of course! I'll have to practice my cooking so I can make an even better one. Looking forward to it. Ano. Sir, there's something I need to talk about. Hmm? Why are you serious all of a sudden? Watashi. It looks like I may be getting some on-the-job training as part of my embalming apprenticeship. So. Really? That's great. Congratulations. It was a great opportunity for me if I want to go ahead and get my license. <sighs> The problem is that I can't do it here. Amber. Where then? Boston. BOSTON! Mm. So you're going to America? For how long? Probably two years. Two years, huh? I'm going to miss you. So. I'm going to miss you. Yes, I'll miss you too. It's going to be difficult being away from you for that long. Now that I know that you feel the same way, it just makes me feel worse. If you didn't care about me, I wouldn't feel so bad about going. Yeah. I'm flattered you feel that way, but... I suppose I should feel happy just to have met you, even if just for a short time. Oh, I don't know what to do. Should I stay? Listen, this decision could affect your entire life. It's an important one. I can't tell you not to go. You have to make this decision on your own. <gasps> You're right. <sighs> if you'll allow it, I have a question to ask you. Uh. I'm just not sure what to do about my on-the-job training. So. <laughs> As I told you, it was my friend's death that, that first made me want to become an embalmer. I think my unresolved feelings towards him were a big part of my motivation. But now I feel like he's telling me not to use his death as a reason to become an embalmer. Paranesis? So. That voice you hear is actually your own. What do you mean? Do you really want to become an embalmer just to work out your feelings towards your friend? I don't think so. If that's the only reason, you might end up quitting once you've gotten closure. And you're, you're thinking if you could work out those issues just by talking with me, you might not have to go to America at all. I... <laughs> but you know that it's not... that's not how it should be. If you're going to become an embalmer, you have to be doing it for the right reasons. <gasps> yes, I'm wondering if I really want to go all the way to America for this. You've still got time. There's no need to brush this. Give it some more thought before you make a decision. <laughs> Sir, I mean, Kitty san Thank you for the advice. That should be it. 
that'll be good. I'm wondering what the hell her story's gonna be. Since she's had no, oh, I'm going for an audition, or oh, this ex-boyfriend, or oh, these customers, you know, she hasn't had anything like that. She's been pretty sensible and not naive. You know? I don't know. Shit. <laughs> That's fine. Boop, boop, boop. Please come again. Oh! Thanks. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. 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 Yes. Greetings, Shizuka here. I'm heading to dance lessons. I feel like I always tense up when I see my teacher. Hard to imagine. I'm usually so relaxed, but my lessons are serious business. I take it so seriously that I can't stop, that I can't talk properly. That I lose track of time. Although that's nothing new. That's all there is to say. Goodbye! Hmm. Say hello to your teacher for me. Is she hot? <laughs> no, shut up. Oh! Kitty san What's wrong? You sound down. Well, my purse got stolen. What? Where? Just a minute ago, I was walking down Pink Street. A man ran up behind me and snatched it. What did he look like? It was so sudden, I didn't get a good look at him. I just know it was a man. Still, a man walking around with a woman's purse will stand out. I'll take a look around there. Thank you. There were some important things in that purse. I'll bet. I'll call you when I, if I find anything. Alright. Pink Street, huh? A man with a purse. A man with a purse. Let's look. This man with a purse! Hey, you. What? Can I see that purse? A friend of mine had her stolen a few minutes ago and- SHIT! Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy. Sweet to one go. You naughty boy. Great. Down here? Fantastic. Love it. Look at that dude there. <laughs> Where's he running? Oh, that way. Okay. <laughs> Mother! Damn it. Got him. Awarida. 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 Alright, All right, I got Shizuka's purse back. I'll give her a call. That was really all of it? It's nice to see a woman not being victimized by, um... Her naivety, I suppose. I got your purse back. Really? Are you okay? You didn't get hurt, did you? I'm fine. Meet me in front of the Millennium Tower. Okay. Ah, I wouldn't have been able to finish her story then. Oh no, it would have let me. Oh fuck, it would have let me! If I'd have done it, uh, in chapter two. Ah, this is it, right? Yes, thank you, sir. What's in there, anyway? You seemed pretty upset about losing it. Well, I got some presents for you. Presents? Yes, for the children at your orphanage. Good luck bracelets for the boys and scrunchies for the girls. This woman is so nice. Oh my god. You made them? Hmm. Thank you. I'm sure they'll love them. I hope so. What can I do to thank you? Oh, you don't have to do anything. It was my idea and you got my purse back for me. No, that's not enough. I'm always telling my kids that they have to give an appropriate return gift when they get a present. Oh. Sure, I just wish I could think of something you would like. Um, sir? I mean, kiddo san it's a little selfish, but I have an idea. Give me your penis. <laughs> sure, what is it? Well, I was wondering if I could wash your back. Are you sure that's what you want? Yes. That would be the best way to thank me. Okay, then. <laughs> Scrub-a-dub, kiddo <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, God. Then they went to baseball. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You never did get round to washing my back. You saw it, though, right? Are you... Okay with what's on it? Your back was very masculine. And beautiful. And I got the feeling that those strong shoulders of yours are burdened by more than I can imagine. Maybe I can finally wash your back when I'm done with my studies. Alright. I'll be waiting for you to return from America. That's not the first time! <laughs> Thank you. Um, could I get one more hug before I go? Of course. Daisuke! Daisuke! I wouldn't call that much of a hug. Come on, put your arms around a man! Be a gentleman! Come on! You can do it! <laughs> I liked her! <laughs> there we go. She's like here. The sight of your muscular back is burned into my memory. Mine too. <laughs> okay. Uh, it'll work. I'll work hard to become a pro embalmer, and, and look forward to the day I can finally wash your back. <laughs> I hope you'll wait for me. I love you. Ayo. Yeah, I liked her. She was nice. Yes, very nice. Eh, hey, much Ayo. Hello. I bring with you woman trivia. I bring with me. Oh, Kinji san, good to see you. You ready to tell me about the girls at Jewel and Shine? I'll tell you about Shizuka. Shizuka Saito from Shine, huh? There's really something unique about her. Oh, and I heard she's holding down a dare job too. She's an embalmer. No kidding! I knew something seemed special about her. Okay, let's see. Heard she's got some kind of trick that guys go crazy over. She loves to wash their back. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to get a piece of that action. One more thing. Do you know what she usually likes to eat? What? Vegetable sticks. Hey, that's cute. I'll have to water that next time I go. Anyway, you got, you've given me a lot of info. You sure it's reliable enough to print? I'm sure it's as good as gold, so... Great. I just wrapped this baby up and handed it to a shiba -san. She's downright scary, you know? Yeah, repeated dialogue. I wish they'd change it up every now and again, but no, no, no. This is the last time we're seeing it, though, so, you know. Can you then? The article I wrote with your info was a real slam dunk. I'm getting a lot of thanks from guys saying it helped them with have a great time at the club. Yep. Got bonus for the article for yeah, yeah you go, mate. Well, that's about all I can tell you. I spend most of my time outside Kamadocha now. I totally understand. Thank you for all the info. We really mean it. I don't know what we would have done if all the, if it all came down to Minimizawa-san. I really don't. <laughs> Actually, there is one other thing. What's that? Since Minimizawa-san's column got a good re response, we're planning a new column about Kamadocha nightlife. We were hoping to find somebody who knows Kamadocha inside and out. Which is why we'd like you to write the column. You want me to write it? Absolutely. Actually, you're really the only one who could pull this off. If you're that set on me writing it, I guess I could do it. Thank you so much. Uh, Ashibe-san, what's going to happen to my story? We'll need you to keep writing it, at least until Kiryu-san's column hits the presses. Uh, great. Kiryu's now... A columnist, I guess. Uh, cool. Uh, cool. Cool? Cool, I think.